Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and today we have a great workout that's focusing on the upper body and the glutes. We're going to be using dumbbells for the upper body, same thing for the lower body, but then adding in a glute loop. The glute loop is optional. You can always use dumbbells or just body weight. We have three sections today. We're going to start with that upper body. Each move will be 40 seconds with a 15 second transition and we're doing two rounds. We'll move into that lower body using that glute loop and a variety of weights and then finish off with a five minute core glute burner. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell that's gonna tell you when new workouts come out. If you want more content, click the join button below. Get yourself in a sumo squat. We're gonna squat down with a side reach. In any squat that you do, make sure you Bend those knees, go as deep as you can, and then push through the heels to fire up the back side of your legs. And as you reach up, really give me that length. And make all your movements today very intentional. One more. Right foot stays, we're doing a dead lift. So we're gonna swing down and stand back up. If your balance is off a little bit today, you could just hold a chair. You could do a, a tip where you have your toe back, a little kickstand, and that can give you some support as you tip, pull the abs up and in. If you want to, you could use the arms. Let's switch your legs. So I think you're focusing, right? Like it just got really quiet. So a little bit of bend in that knee. And you don't necessarily have to touch the floor. You could just tip so your hands go to knee height. We're gonna open up the legs wide and a shifting lateral lunge. So we're gonna shift over to that right side, rise up, bend it and drop. As you rise up, push the hips to me, you come up tall. And then push back into your hips. And again, we're pushing through the heels. We're gonna really activate the glutes today. Runner's lunge, right foot forward, left leg back. Drop the hip and then you can reach the arm. You can do a little thread through. Reach up again, thread through. Switch legs, step back and switch. Arm up, thread through. Both feet step forward. Roll up and give yourself a twist in that waist. As we're twisting, keep the length. So make sure your shoulders are lifted back. Plant the feet and start to circle the arms back. Now brace your core and go for some speed. And then reverse. And then a big inhale, because we are ready to go. Bring it up, pull it down. We're starting with a shoulder press, moderate to heavy. Each move is 40 seconds. We're gonna do a little Arnold press, so it starts in front, and we press it up. So core has to be tight, knees have to have a little bit bend, and I'm gonna be going for my 15 pound dumbbells. Weights are up. If it starts to get heavy, right, you can alternate that press. So core tight, knee soft. If you only have lighter weights at home, you can do this movement with the arms out wider. That's gonna make it harder. So the further it is away from you, the harder it will be. Having this rotation just gives you a little bit of variety and uses a little bit different muscles in the shoulders, chest, and triceps. But the focus here is shoulders. We 
of a wide stance swing. I'm gonna be using my tens just to be mindful of my back. We're gonna have wide stance. We swing the weight up, pull it to the shoulders, shoot it out, and with control you come down. Catherine's gonna do an upright row. So I swing up, pull back, release. So lots of core here. Now if your back is sensitive, right? I do an upright row. Push the hips back, upright row. Maybe you need lighter sometimes too. Honor your body. Very controlled. So keep the knees a little bend. We're not doing a squat. It's kind of a dead lift. You can even think of the movement called good mornings. Back to shoulder press. How'd that feel for you guys? Good? All right, shoulder press. So ask yourself, can I go heavier or should I stay with where I am? Remember, as you press up, that's the exhalation. And get all the way to the top. And when we go for that moderate to heavy, I keep telling you guys this, we engage the core even more. We're thinking about that wide stance swing. Grabbing again. This one definitely needs to be lighter. So again, honor your back. How's it feel for your back, Catherine? She said it's great. She's been having some back issues. She's doing the upright row. So drop, swing, pull it back. So we're doing a row, but in an upright position. Super important to keep your back flat. So throughout the swing, I'm keeping my core braced. I'm almost holding that breath. Exhale, inhale. Ooh, nice job. That was fun. Was it fun? Yeah, different move. All right, we've got a few moments here. Get your water, get ready for the next move. We have bicep curls. We'll start with those hammers. I'm gonna go for my 20s. And then we have an overhead extension. So grab a weight that you think that you need for, I'm gonna do a 25 in my overhead extension, and I'm gonna do 20s in my biceps. 10 seconds to go. There you go. We're good to, I got 12s. Bicep curls. Now again, if you have that lighter weight, palms can be up. You can also throw in some wide curls. So just because I do it one way doesn't mean you have to do everything I do. You can make it your own. Yeah, everybody's been leveling up on the driveway. How about you at home? Have you been trying those a little bit heavier weights? So we have that overhead extension coming up in five seconds. Great job. Anybody need any of the weights here? You can always come up and grab. So overhead, one or two dumbbells. I've got a diamond in my hands. Knees soft, lock out the arms, and then we bend at the elbows. Press it all the way up. And things that can make this feel harder too is that a little pause at the bottom, then push it up. So here's that posture, right? You have that little arch in that back, you have neutral spine, pull the abs up and in. And it's good to try one dumbbell versus two to see how it feels for you. Nice job, bicep curls. 
I'm gonna give it a try for the 25s. Roll the shoulders back, set that core on. Go for those great bicep curls. So again, when we're going heavy, we feel the core. We really need to be in control of the movement, especially that down movement. And feel the squeeze at the top. If you have lighter weights, maybe you go faster. Pump them out for the last 10 seconds. All right, overhead extensions. Woo. All right, here it is. Bring it up. This time, let's start at the bottom. Okay, start with the bottom. Pause, then press it up. So if you've done any of the rip workouts with us, we work on tempo change, and you can do the same thing right here, right? You could do it where you do a couple slow, a couple small, and a couple fast, all within that 40 seconds. When you have heavy, sometimes it's hard to go fast, right? Mindful in your posture. Nice job. Woo. Great job, guys. So here's your little break. We've got row. We're gonna alternate the rows. So again, we're gonna go moderate to heavy. We're gonna flip it on the back. Look at the sky for chest press. I'm gonna use 20 in my row. I'm gonna use 30 in my press. So get yourself set up. I'm gonna grab my 20s. We're going in a few seconds. We got five seconds. We're dropping that chest. Roll the shoulders back. I'm just gonna turn a little bit here and start your rows. If you have that lighter, double it up. Do both arms. And if you feel like you wanna level up more, hey, renegade rows, come into plank. But you can do heavier weight in this upright position versus renegade in plank. And 20 is just right for me. We have that chest press. I'm gonna be doing my heaviest weights that I can. On your back, look at the sky. Ooh. What'd you go? Oh, good job. Here we go. Pressing up and in. And again, keep it wide. If you want it to be harder, if it's tough, push them inward. You can even rotate pinky in. Press through the heel of the hand. Ooh, it's getting hard. Hard for me, how about you? Back into that row. Whew, I'll grab them from you, okay? I'll come grab them. You grab what you need. Whew, I'm gonna keep them there. Know where your equipment is. Drop that chest. Start those rows. Brace your core, have your feet open. That's your base, that's your foundation. Looking out in front, keeping your neck long. Maybe the second time you come back to this workout, you do palms up. Feels different. You can even try some now. And you should feel your backside engage. Your legs, your glutes. Chest press. Woo! Nice job. 
Uh, weight is up. We'll start at the top, from the top drop. And again, if it's light, you could do a couple where you do half range, like three of them, and then push it up. And try a couple of those now. That's tough. Oh, anybody try them? Yeah, the pulse is at the bottom. Oh yeah. My arms are starting to shake a little bit here. We got this, this is the end of the upper body, you guys. Come on, nice job. Woo, nice job. All right, give it a little stretch. We're gonna transition using your glute loop. Now, there's two different types of loops. We're gonna be using the cloth one. I'm gonna put that link in the description box below. What happens when we use that little mini rubber one is it rides up our legs, depending on what you're wearing. So my suggestion, get yourself a glute loop. We're gonna have the band above the knees on all four for donkey kicks. We're gonna do each leg two times to really activate the glutes. I'm gonna be doing my right knee. It's gonna be lifting up. You can always anchor the band underneath the opposite knee if you want to. Knee down, heel is up, core is on. Start your donkey kick. It's not a big movement. Now, if you don't have the glute loop, you could use a weight behind the knee and hold on to that. You could even have one of those little Pilates mini ball behind the knee. That'll help to activate the hamstring even more. Really give me that uphold. If you need to, you can always come down to the elbows. Look out in front of your mat. All right, relax. Shift into the other side. Make any adjustments that you need to. So again, we're just really kind of warming up that glute. Think about where it's coming from, that movement. Knee down, heel flexed, up hold. And the glutes, to keep them strong, why is it so important? It can help you with your back. It can help you with knee issues. It helps you to get out of chairs. Remember, if it's too easy, you can pulse it at the top. Right, relax, let's do another set. Change your tempo, do something different. I'm gonna go a little faster. Bent knee, I'm gonna really anchor it underneath my other knee. Give it some good resistance. And go at a faster tempo maybe. You could either even point the toe, maybe that feels different. You could take away an arm. Oh my goodness, right? Ooh, yeah, right, whoa. And then the last 10 seconds, we're gonna hold it at the top. Get ready in three, two, one, hold it there. All right, now, knee down. Pull the core in, hold it up there. A little bit more. Oh, there you go. Did you hold your breath? <laughs> I think you're holding your breath. Switch the legs. So same thing. Okay, leg is up, knee down. Good posture. Pulse it up. All right, you can flex it, you can point it, do something a little different. Anybody got any shaking going on? Get it up there, right? All right, we got a few more seconds and then we're gonna do that holding. Ready, set, hold. Get it up there, yeah, breathe. Every exhale, you bring it up a little bit more. 
Nice job. Take a moment. So Liz is going to be doing the clam and we're going to do abduction, like the fire hydrant, right? Dog on the fire hydrant. Take a deep breath. Engage your core, Liza, while you're there too. And you too, when you're on all four. Going back to that first leg, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Brace the core, shift over, and abduct, or clam. You could drop to the elbow. Bonus, obliques, right? All of that is connected. So when we do leg movement, when we want to hit the core, it gets deeper. Trying to feel it, right? All right, she's gonna swing around. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna do the other leg. You can shake your hips a little bit. Ooh, get ready. Shift over. Lift into that abduction. Now the knee sometimes wants to cheat and come forward. Keep those knees in line. And get that range if you can. If the glute loop becomes too much, get rid of it. Just do your body weight. Right, relax. We're gonna level it up a little bit, okay? We're gonna try to do pulses. Does that sound good? Do the pulses, do what you can. You can do a couple, then come out and then go back into it. So we're gonna pulse at the top. And you can just do clam to continue clam versus the pulsing. Might feel better. And if you're in the position where Liza is, make sure you don't just sink in your shoulder. Even us, like push the shoulders away. Come on, keep it up. Oh, yeah, like take that breather and then come back. Can you hold it the last five seconds? Oh, because 10 would be really tough. Ooh, five was tough. Oh, right, you feel that right in that pocket. Other side, remember we're strengthening and toning these areas. It doesn't mean we're gonna lose the fat, but we can strengthen and tone. Other side, sometimes that fat just decides where it wants to go, where it wants to come off. All right, remember we're up and kind of keeping it more in the tippy top. <laughs> Usually when we lose the fat, we're like oh my God, it's in my face, right where we want it. It's just consistency, no matter what you do. Not just the workouts, not your diet, your sleep. Trying to deal with stress better. You ready? Hold it. Oh. Relax. Ooh, was that the second set? Yeah. Oh, relax. Take a breather. Ready to take the band off? We got some sumo squats, you guys. Ooh. 20 seconds. I'm gonna go for my 30s, right? 15 seconds, sumo squat. Oh. Weight is up, I'm gonna do front load or you can do, actually I'm gonna do low load. Sumo squats. Pull anything up you need. From the bottom, I'm pressing up. Oh yeah. So press through the heels. Feel this now, right? And again, moderate to heavy load here. Pull your shoulders back. Brace your core. If you feel your back too much, bring the weight up. I can help you.
one weight or two. I'm gonna use my 30. I'm gonna bring it up. Wide straddle. We do this in the warm up. A shifting lateral lunge. I look out in front. Inhale down, exhale up. The inhale protects your back. Get one more. Back to sumo. Pay attention. All right, we fired up those glutes. Now we're really gonna go for it. Ooh. So if you need to, load front. Sumo squat, heavy. Now everybody has a different range. Yes, my butt can go below the knees, and it's not gonna hurt my knees. But that's my body, so if you need to not go so low, don't. All right, 15 seconds, let's pulse. Press through, just halfway up. Little bounce. I'm a Make fire. Laterals. Oh. Oh, you guys breathing heavy? Because I sure am. Let's go to the left side first. Open up. <clears throat> to get the lighter load, you can go faster. And go for the depth. You can get to that lower position. Press through that heel. Brace the core. Remember, stand up all the way. Your back is gonna work. Breather. Okay, get some water here. We're gonna do some bridging. I'm gonna take a couple of nice deep breaths here and let's get ready for that bridge. So I'm gonna put the glute loop back on. Arms down, feet a little bit in front of your knees. That can help you engage the hamstrings, hips up. I'm gonna have my right leg up and then drop and lift. Now, what can you do to level up? <laughs> you could take one arm away or take both arms away, readjust anything that you need to. Down, up, hold. Another option, foot on a chair. All right, you could put your foot on your bench or on your chair. That is gonna totally make it feel different. You could have weight on the hip. All right, relax. Enjoy the moment, right? Tuck the tailbone, maybe stretch out your low back a little bit. Release, okay, set, position, hips up, leg up, drop and lift. Now, if you want to, you know, you can challenge stability a little bit by pressing that straight leg out a little. Right, that can give you a little bit of a challenge. You could take one arm away, which would be, if you have a straight leg, it's the opposite arm then. You want to get fancy, you could put a weight in the hand. You could do a skull crusher, right? But if you're like, that's too much for me to think about, then stay with this. Really focus in on tuning in that glute and the hips and the abs here. Super. Knee sways. All right, get ready for the same thing. We're gonna do that first leg one more time. Get in set, leg up, hips up. You have that opposite arm up. Drop and lift. All right, let's just kinda 
put the pedal to the metal a little bit. Kiss the floor and then drive through the heel and press up. And give me a little extra uh, on the up. That's right. Uh. And we're gonna hold in the 10, ready? Hold it, press that leg out. Lift the hips up. Push and hold, come on. Relax, I was shaking. Okay, it's that oh my gosh, that feels so good kind of thing, right? Other side, legs, hips up, leg up, arm up if you want it. I know you want it, right? Remember, down. Drive up. Push through the heel. Right, that. Ah. Uh. Man, we got deep in those hips today. Ooh. Hold it. All right, here we go. Push it up. Take the leg out. Maybe the arm reaches out. Further away from the body is harder. Relax, knees in the chest. That section is done. Take a deep breath. And we're keeping the booty band on for a little five minute burn, you guys. You're gonna have your glute loop above the knees. We're using three pound weights, just giving us a little bit of a burn in the arms and a burn in the glutes. We're gonna start with a lateral. So this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna cross and punch. Soft knees, cross, punch. So keep tightness in the band. So don't bring your feet too close together. Have a bend in the knees. No speed here. Range of motion. You can even tap back. I like a tap back, how about you? Hold it and then just press back. You can throw in kickbacks. Straight leg, push it back. Keeping the legs wide. Oh, core. I'm gonna put my palms facing you. The more challenge in the triceps for me. Whew. Repeater knee on the right. I'm gonna punch it down. Holding my weight up. Switch. And we have calf raises after this. And that would be a good time too if you have to adjust your band. Calf raises, right there. You could do a reach. Keeping that band pressing out. And then we're gonna do diagonal lift. First 15 on the right, and then the last 15 seconds on the left. Right leg diagonal. And where can you go with the arms? You can press back. Palms can face up. Tipping forward. Switch. You can face the hands the other direction. Keep them on the up along with the leg. So we start from the top again. Let's do single lateral. Tap it back, single lateral. So I want a little more bend in the knees. And again, you can just push it back versus tapping it in. And really extend the arm out because then you have more core activation. 
So right now you're getting an ab workout along with your glutes. Press it back. Could really bring a little curl push. And another option, if you don't have the glute loop, you could always use our famous ankle weights, right? Repeater knee is coming up. Punch it down. Ooh, when the knee comes up, gotta use the core and the stabilizing leg. You feel that other leg? Ooh, right in the hip. Switch. Calf raises. You could do one or two arms. You could go wide with the lighter weights. Really lift onto your toes. All right, last 30 seconds is coming up diagonal lift. Kick back. Could you bend to straight the arms or keep them straight? I'm doing little kickbacks here. Switch. Woo. Nice job. You made it through the five minute burner. How'd that feel? Oh, I was struggling to the end and my crew, they cheered me up. They motivated me. I hope we motivated you to get through that workout. Take it off. Give somebody some high fives here. High 10 for sure. These guys helped me to push through. Woo, Cause we all have those days. Oh, so shake those hips a little bit for me. That should feel good. Oh, give me a little squat and then crescent knee right. Ooh, and left knee. Just bring some mobility back in there, right? After it was tense and tight. One more on each leg. Ooh. And then we're gonna go into a straddle. So wide straddle. From that position, one hand stays down. The other arm's gonna reach up, a little twist here. Oh, good for your internal organs. Switch the arms, push the ground away, open up the chest. Hands go down, shift over to one side, lateral lunge. You can go toe up. The heel can come up. Oh. Other side. Mm. And again, back to straddle. So widen your feet, go as wide as you feel that you can. Maybe the elbows can touch the ground. Let the head relax. Take a deep breath. Heel toe in or hop it in. I'm gonna take my toe up on one leg, drop the chest forward. You can either go onto the thigh or to the ground. You can have the toes up or toes can be touching the ground. Ooh. Take it up, other leg. Step forward. IT band, right? We need to step behind, reach up, push the hips to me. Ooh, that feels good. Reach in opposition here. Switch that. Ooh. So remember, when we come back to a workout, it gives you an opportunity to level up. You know the moves, then you can go for that heavier weight, or you find the weight, then you kind of know what weight you really need. 
and release. Interlock behind the back. Give yourself a chest opener. And then arms reach out and T, thumbs go back. Thumbs go down. And then a standing figure four. If you feel unstable, take yourself to the ground. We're gonna just stand, find some balance. If you wanna place your hands on your heart. If you wanna go for a twist, right? You could try to twist. Ooh, that's a tough one, right? Rise it up, other side. And try a spinal twist. You can either go one way or even go the other way. Ooh. Plant the feet. Oh yeah. Big inhale. Reach the arms out. Reach them up. Pull it into your heart. Behind the head. Open that chest up. Reach it out. And one more big inhale. What are you grateful for today? Have that attitude of gratitude. Grab onto it. Pull it into your heart, touch that skin. Take a deep breath here. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you to these amazing ladies. Make sure if you're enjoying this workout that you do hit that subscribe button. It does help other people find these workouts. Thumb it up, comment below, all that stuff helps me. It helps you guys. It keeps the content coming. And if you want more content, maybe you've seen some stuff and you're like, where did it go? members only click on the join button below if you don't see it on your phone check your pc right that button's there go to my home page and you can get more content you guys you have an awesome day we'll see you back on this mat take care thank you ladies <laughs>